Since we added progressive blur and gradients to HANA, we've been wanting to show you how to create this beautiful interactive switch. It's a quick and fun design that combines multiple effects to achieve this smooth modern look. So get comfy and let's get started. Add a rectangle shape. It doesn't need to be perfect. We can adjust the size in the right panel. And you can always use the align tools to center it in your frame. Next, the corner value. We'll go all the way to 100 to give it that round end shape. Let's replace the color fill by a gradient. We have another tutorial on the channel that goes in depth on how gradients work if you want to check it out. This time we'll use three different colors, orange, pink, and blue. We'll use a linear type and set the blending to smooth. This brings that sunset soft vibe we're looking for. Here is where blur comes in. We'll create a new state and add a layer blur effect. We'll use progressive blur, adjusting the start to focus the blur on the left side only. Now we'll create another state and repeat the steps, just focusing on the right side this time. We'll end up with three states. The base state where there's no blur, the right state where the blur focuses on the left, and the left state where the blur is only on the right. That way, when we hover, it will blur on the opposite side. To start building our interaction, we'll add two ellipses, one on each side of the base shape. They will work as our triggers so they don't need to have colors or anything. We'll set the opacity to 0%. After that, we'll select the right invisible ellipse and add a mouse hover event. Add a transition that targets the base shape. The transition will go from the base state to the right state of the base. That way, when we hover over the invisible ellipse, we'll trigger the blur animation in the base. We'll repeat the process on the other side and we'll have a really smooth interaction. Now for the white stroke. This is the same shape as the base, but with a white stroke instead of filling. And here we go again with the right and left states. Add a new state, and remember you can change the names of your states to keep everything tidy and clean. Now let's edit the size of the ellipse so it's a full circle. Adjust the thickness to eight and move it to the right. This way will look like it's tucking in the side each time we hover. Repeat on the other side with a new state. The transparent ellipses act as a trigger for the stroke as well. The way that it works is the same way as before. We add transitions targeting the stroke, so when we hover, it moves alongside the blur. Use a spring transition for the bouncy effect and set the mass to 0 0.80. Repeat on the left side as well. This will create that smooth, unified animation where everything works together perfectly. Now you have a beautiful interactive switch that is ready to use in your projects. You can add more details or try different colors. The possibilities are endless. Hope you liked this video and that inspired you to start creating your own interactions in HANA. See you on the next tutorial.